Get over here! Hello everybody out there on YouTube. Once again, it is the three middle-aged guys just bullshitting about nothing. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Gray Mouse Lord. And this week, we're going to start off our Geek Week and review a lot of video game news. First thing that came up is actually a really huge topic that we're going to try to get through cohesively. Um, <laughs> earlier this week, well, I, I got to be honest, this is going to be a challenge for us, especially since we know that we're really, we get to be really verbose on things. Uh, <laughs> um, earlier this week, August 23rd, 2016, Time Magazine went out of their way in their, their tech section. They released out a new list. Uh, where they rank the 50 best video games of all time. Now, this is really interesting to me because the thing is that Time Magazine is not an industry magazine. They're not an industry publication. They're not handled by gamers. And because of that, their particular views on games that are out there and where they list or where they end up as being the best game out there is going to be really different than what your game, your normal gamer would go ahead and rank. The other thing that we have to keep in mind is that since they're not an industry publication and they're not an industry, industry site, they're not going to be swayed by whichever publisher is giving them the most fucking advertisement money, all right? They're going to go off and they're going to do their thing and they're, they're not going to sit there. You're not going to see um, something that's on the top selling list, current top selling list, probably on, in, at, in the top 10 of this fucking list. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. It's really a non-gamers list. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over it really quick, all right? And if you go up to, to Time Magazine, we'll go ahead and leave a link in the description of the videos here so you can actually read the list for yourself. But we're just going to go through them really quick. At number 50, uh, they have King's Quest Three to Air is Human. At 49, they have Dota 2. At 48, they have Angry Birds. Okay. At 47, they have Guitar Hero. At 46, they have Resident Evil 4. 45, Gran Turismo 3, A Spec. 44, Super Smash Brothers. 43, Call of Duty 2, which I think is actually one of the better Call of Duties. 42, Bioshock. 41, ESPN NFL 2K5. And what's funny is that I think this is like one of the few uh, sports games on here, and it's not fucking mad. That's one astonishing thing that I want to point out a little bit later on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. At 40, they have pretty much the one who, who established the, the, the genre or, excuse me, the industry, Pong. Yes. Yep. I would have been not, pretty angry if that didn't make the list. Yeah, I, I'd actually be – I wouldn't – I'd be really, really surprised. I mean, people don't – may not realize uh, exactly how that – influenced everybody else but it did really set up an industry for for the ones that video gamers enjoy now well um, um the significance of these first 10 games uh, mm -hmm. the, uh 50 to 40 i mean you got games like guitar hero that actually created the genre the music and rhythm genre per se that really where you could actually with play peripheral yeah uh -huh. with what you say? yeah, yeah that's what I said, with instruments that's what i was saying i was like and it just blew up from there, man. Yep, yep. I mean, there's a there's a lot of interesting things, but let's let's continue on. Yep. At 39, a classic, Castlevania. That should be a little bit lower, in my opinion, but that's fine. Mm. Or higher in the list, you mean? Oh yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 38, Portal 2. All right. I was uh, surprised that Portal 2 was in there and not Portal. And not 1. the first one. I would have. The yeah. first one was revolutionary. Yep. I mean, but. You know, in, in, in terms of games, it did it did make uh, improvements. It's as far as as far as people who've actually played the series, though, it didn't have the same wow factor. Portal was just so brand new. Let's yep. continue on. Uh, Thirty seven, we have Braid. Excellent game. Thirty six, we have Fallout Three. Thirty five, Galaga. Yes. <laughs> this is the, another one that just had to be on the list to, to be completely honest all right um 34 red dead redemption that was an interesting choice to be honest with you well considering 
Well, there, there are other rock star titles, but I, I actually like the fact that they chose this one too. But we'll get it. Western of all things is what's yeah. crazy about that. Well, the funny thing about it is that there aren't too many Western games, and that particular one is probably the best one that's out there. I'll say there's not many Western games that do so well. Yeah, yep. you know, uh, outside of Gunsmoke, but that's another, <laughs> that's 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 another, another topic. <laughs> that's that writers. True, <laughs> true. All right, but well, let's continue on. Uh, 33, Super Mario Kart. Oh, my God. I was going to argue that being on the list, period. I, I spent so much time playing that as a kid on the Super Nintendo, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge Super Mario Kart fan, but I, I would have actually, thinking about really? it, that it'd be a little bit higher on the list, you know? Oh, I just, the, th- the problem is that I haven't had the chance to sit down there and, and play multiplayer for Super Mario Kart with a whole bunch of other people. And when it came to a point where I actually could, uh, when Super Mario Kart hit the DS, um, that was a huge, oh man, just jumping into that was just something else altogether. But let's continue on, okay? Uh, 32, we have Wolfenstein 3D. Huh. Yes, no arguments here for that one. Yep. 31, we have The Sims. Um, 30. It has its place. Yep. Breaking into 30, we have Pokemon Red and Blue. They decided to go ahead and throw them both in together. As one. <laughs> talk about how it's talk about a game that has its place. Yes. What about where's Pokemon Yellow, man? Where's the Pikachu edition? Not well, you know, it's, <laughs> it, since it's considered part of the first first generation of vanilla Pokemon games, I think this would probably that's where it would probably fit. Yeah. All right. Um, at 29, we have Mist. That one yes. really surprised me. Because I a lot spent of so much over, time playing that. A, a lot of people overlook Mist. Yep. In every list, you hardly ever see that game. Yep. And this is this is one of the reasons, again, why I think this, this list is interesting. Because it's a list that's put together that by folks who aren't dedicated industry, video game industry people. But let's continue on. Uh, 28, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Can't argue that. That that classic arcade. <laughs> just, God, it's all it. like Donkey Kong. Yep. How how high can you go? How yep. high can you get? Or how <laughs> high can you get? Let's <laughs> 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 you know the the only thing I'm going to contribute on Donkey Kong is that actually. Uh, I've read this list a few times. I think this is probably the one that's at the most perfect spot because it sits it's like right, right there in the middle. Almost right. in the middle, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, 27, we have Mortal Kombat. I can't argue that in its place. I, that belongs in, yes. Okay. At 26, we have StarCraft Two: Wings of Liberty. StarCraft, yep. Yeah. Yep. No, I mean, I'm not a big RTS fan, but I, I know StarCraft, so... Mm-hmm. 25, Halo Combat Evolved. Yep. <sighs> lots and lots of fun. Lot, lots and lots of fun, and that was the primary or the only reason why people got the first Xbox. I'm Especially guilty. I'm right. guilty. I got the Xbox because of that game. That that was a system seller. Yep. That and in Skies, man. So, anyway. Yep. So All right. At 24, now I know this is going to piss a lot of people off, is Final Fantasy VII. It's got okay. It'll piss people off if you don't appreciate the games that are above it. Yeah, you know, but you know, that's place. It yeah, has, I think it's, it has its niche. Yeah, I think it's an appropriate place too. Okay. Absolutely. All right, number twenty-three. We have Microsoft Flight Simulator Ten. Don't have much to say about that. I've ne- not played any of that. I've never played Flight that. Simulator. So, yeah, can't okay. comment if it's good or bad or whatever. All right. I, I do know, though, there was that – I remember there was that one time where the, there was that one Japanese dude who hijacked a, a 747 uh, Japanese flight, and he went ahead and he landed the plane, and then he gave himself up to police, and they asked him why he did that. And he said that he had played Microsoft Flight Simulator, and he wanted to know if he could actually fly a plane. That's insane. Yeah, that's from, like, 1997 when that happened, Okay. All right, continuing on. Number 22, we have GoldenEye 007. Understand yeah. its place in the list. Yeah, on the list. I yep. understand, but I hate the golden gun. 
<laughs> I think everybody hated the golden gun. <laughs> Except everybody that wanted to fucking use it, which was usually three out of the four people in the party. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Shooting somebody in the toe and killing them. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, being unless, I'm being facetious. Unless you're that oh, asshole that thing. Happens. <laughs> Unless you're that asshole playing odd job, in which case it was like, yeah, you had to shoot for, for the guy's toes just to hit the fucker. You know? <laughs> All right, moving on. Number 21, we have Diablo 2. All right, that which belongs on the list. Yes. I mean, I, well, look, two or three could have made the list. Yeah. I, but I think as far as, as, far as contributions and, and, you know, being the big thing that other mm-hmm. games were compared to, Diablo 2 is like a mainstay even oh. now. That was, what, that was one of the best dungeon crawler games around for yep. a long time. Yep. Yep. All righty. Now, let's go into the top 20. And this is where things, I think, get a little bit interesting. In fact, most lists get uh, interesting when you get into the, the, the upper echelon. At 20, we have Zork. <laughs> <laughs> text only. Yep. That's what certain games used to be back then were text only on your hey, I, 64 or – your Apple or your Apple II or something like that. Yeah, I mean, the game is almost 40 years old. Mm. But, geez, for when it came to actually adventure games and stuff like that, there was a lot that was done with just text. Text, you know? yeah. There was a lot put into it. Yep, exactly. For, for, I mean, for back in the day. Yep. I mean, That's when you had to type in and you had to put, go west, go yep. east. Yeah. Draw a sword. <laughs> yeah. And – and you hope that the, the text commands that you put in actually made sense to the developers. To, too. Yeah. But that's uh, another thing because usually when you got your instructions, which instructions mattered back then, it gave you a list on what you could actually use for the most, for, for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and instruction, instruction books just don't come to come with games anymore. It's just funny. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Yep. Moving on. Uh, number 19, Space Invaders. Yes. Well, look, I just got one thing to say. Either that or Asteroids could have made that place. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's – yeah, that, that's it. But if you think about it, Space Invaders, though, all right, the funny thing that, that a lot of people didn't, didn't realize with the Atari 2600 was that Pac-Man was not its first hit. No, it wasn't. The first hit that actually made people go out and fucking get a 2600 or Atari VCS was goddamn Space Invaders. Space Invaders. And then the second was Asteroids. Yep. 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 Then you got Missile Command. Yep. Hey, I played during the escape. Yeah. But Space Invaders. But Space Invaders, for, for a lot of people, especially a lot of folks who were brand new to gaming at the time, that was like, it's like, hey, you've got these, these aliens. So and you have your mind to invade. Yeah, you know, shoot them before they stomp you dead. You know? <laughs> and they go faster the more you shoot. <laughs> exactly. And then, then when you lose, you know you lose because the game just goes, ugh. <laughs> Part or whatever. And yep. if, you, if you have a DS, play, play Space Invaders fucking well, extreme. See, yeah. Think, extreme, yeah. I play think that one. I think any of these could have worked. Space Invaders, Asteroids, or even um, uh, what's that other one? I, I, I had Mr. it in my Man. Huh? Mr. 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 Command? Uh, no, 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 no. Centipede. Centipede. Those, any of those could have fit in there. We could name a whole bunch of games that could place that slot, but let's move on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. At 18, this is actually one of the newer games on, on the list is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> have a couple of gripes with that, but I'll go into that later. Yeah. But I will say that, uh, you know, playing, uh, playing the first Tomb Raider game, um, the at least Crystal Dynamics reboot for it is it's a great game. Uh, Rise of Tomb Raider, have to get a hold of it. I'll, then I'd have a better, a better sense of where. Uh, where I know is. why they put it on this list. Cause it's like a, it brought Tomb Raider back to its roots, back to where the main focus was exploring in that game and okay. it wasn't just you know that where they went off but anyway i, di- I digress go ahead yep all right so 17 we have half-life 2 yes 
Yep, yep, yep. Orange box. Not to say. Not to say. Yep, I mean, it's great. Uh, 16, we have Grand Theft Auto 3. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Grand Theft Auto series, but I will completely recognize um, the the type of technical prowess and hard fucking work that went in that game and yeah. how it actually set up the um, the whole genre of sandbox Sandbox, game. yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, just the ability to go out and do whatever the fuck you want. As, yeah, and not, not whatever that you want, but as many things as you could actually do in that game, especially when you considered that, you know, it – it was released out in 2001, 15 fucking years ago. Mm-hmm. I mean, for a home console also, not for, not for PC. Not for PC, fucking, yeah. Yeah, fucking, fucking amazing when you think about it. You know, so like I said, I'm not the biggest Grand Theft Auto fan, but yeah, I, I, I'll recognize that easily. All right. It's one of the better uh, sandbox games at that yep. time. Some yep. people say it's the best one. Yep. All right. So breaking into the top 15, and we're making good time here. 15, we have Counter-Strike. Yeah, when it comes to competitive first-person shooters, this was the shit, all right? Especially on PC. Yeah, this is what set it up, really, all right? This is what set up uh, online multiplayer. Yes, it did. All right? Now, as far as first-person shooters go, one that ranks a little bit higher, at least according to time, at 14, we have Quake. Underrated, still underrated, regardless of how much praise that Quake gets. And I'm yeah. happy that it's coming back. Yep. For yep. Christ's sake. Yep. yep. I was really happy when I when that announcement was that this year Quake mm-hmm. coming back and the well one thing that a lot of people don't understand about Quake is they actually created the arena. They did, yeah, they did. Yes. And that's yeah. what people don't realize. That's why it belongs on this list. If not. It's a fun game to play, but when you're playing it with multiplayer, that created the arena multiplayer. Yeah. What else can you say? Well, the other thing that you can say is that, technically speaking, it was one of the first games that was fully rendered out in 3D with yeah. these brand new fucking polygons. <laughs> and up, in, up until Quake, really, there wasn't a lot of games that required somebody to get a, a video card. But yeah. once it came out, it was like, oh, 3D effects voodoo, they became a fucking brand name that people that gamers knew about. You know, and that's really what uh, what pushed that particular part of the industry. All right, all right. Continuing on, thirteen. We have SimCity two thousand. <sighs> I like yeah. I like SimCity until the garbage hazards appeared, like <laughs> Godzilla or, uh, or, or oh, those were cool, man. No, Come fuck on, that. <laughs> you build your city up and you 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 have everything going in perfect harmony and next thing you know this fucking lizard shows up. <laughs> that is it's awesome. like, come on, well, how am I supposed to deal with that? That is awesome. Tim City definitely belongs on this list. In I understand that. Days. That's what I had a grudge against Tim yeah. City when that shit happened to me. I was like, fuck, everything was working. Out. I had the perfect city and then this monster shows up and says, fuck you, you gotta, no, nah, fuck. <laughs> hey, at least... At least you, at least you didn't have to worry about you know signing onto a fucking server and then not being able to in order to fucking play a single player campaign. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go right. to that rant right now. Okay, that yeah, that's gonna take way too much time. All right, <laughs> continuing on. Uh, at number twelve, Final Fantasy VI. This is this three or six? Six, three, six, known six, in, real so six. three known known in North America, but okay, Final yeah. Six. All right. Now, uh, what what made this game so good is that this was the first synthesized or one of the best synthesized music on in uh, in the Final on Super Nintendo. Yes, on Super yeah. Nintendo. I mean, there's there's a whole scene where at the opera is where it, it was just ah, and that look. I'm telling you. Yep. It was mind blowing at the time. It really I mean, was. Here's the thing about Final Fantasy VI that I, I've got to say, they did best. Square did best, um, and they have not been able to replicate in any of the Final Fantasy games later. Uh, yes, including Final Fantasy VII, and I will fucking stick to that. All right, um, and that's the fact that Final Fantasy VI gave you thirteen fucking playable characters that were fully fleshed out playable characters. All right, 
you had a reason for any one of those guys to be in your fucking party, okay? When it came to when it came to Final Fantasy VII, hey, I don't want fucking Aerith in my party. I don't want Kate Sith in my party. Right. I don't want Red Fifteen. Well, guess what? Don't give them any fucking materia. Yeah. All right. The only thing you're fucking missing is their well, fucking unit ranks. Another thing too is that we can touch on on Final Fantasy VI. I think it was one of the most engrossing storylines as well. Because, I mean, depending on what your choices are, um, one, one of the characters to commit suicide. I mean, you watch them throw themselves <laughs> off of a cliff, and you're like, you're sitting there as a kid watching this. Yeah, like, I mean, they, they the took fuck? some real risk with Final Fantasy VI yeah. when mm -hmm. it came to, like, storytelling and how they were, they were doing it. Yeah. Not only that, but even now, okay, 2D lives on. Fucking the sprites look beautiful even now. Okay. All right. But let's go on because we're, we can probably go on for a little bit more. All right. So a number, number 11, Sid Meier civilization four. Interesting. That yeah. civilization. Oh my God. Yeah. See, a lot of RTSs are showing up in this, in this yeah. list. That's very interesting. This is like the third or fourth one. Yep. And, um, civilization. I played that on the PC. I played them all. I love civilization. Uh, Koshaks, all these art. I grew up on RT. I love RTS. RTS. I don't think it's, it's just that's one of my favorite genres. And yep. civilization, look, yes, it belongs there. Yeah. All right. Let's let's try to get through the 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 last top ten. Okay. <sighs> At number ten, World of Warcraft. <sighs> I hate that game, but I respect where. I expect I respect what it did because it created I think the art uh, the uh, MMO every it, MMO that came out after World of Warcraft was modeled with I, World of Warcraft. It didn't create it, but it, it sure as hell perfected it. No, no, um, I, I didn't mean to say created, but it seems like everything was modeled at all the MMOs thereafter was modeled after the Warcraft. I mean, well, when something comes out that is revolutionary, of course things are going to copy it afterwards. Yep. I yep. Mean, they still got, you know, they got millions of subscribers. I mean, I think it, their highest was like 35 million subscribers paying $15 a month to yep. play on the server. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see here. <laughs> Number nine, we have Oregon Trail. <laughs> Death by Death by dysentery. Yep. Yeah. Never heard of dysentery, and I died by it. So I had to yeah. grab a dictionary and actually find out what did I die of. <laughs> and I <laughs> found <laughs> out when I read that I was instantly pissed off. You oh, died. Man. You I cannot kept shitting. I kept shitting, and I yep. died by yep. dehydration. Whatever that. that that's fucked. All the way up. In the you game. die by shitting on yourself. In the game. Uncontrollable shitting. Damn. Is what... Yep, yep. <laughs> I had no. to get the dictionary right by the Scrabble game, and I was just like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, you and the... <laughs> but the thing, the thing is, though, with this game, I played this in school. Yes. Yeah. That was one of those games. In elementary in school. school. Yes. Yep. I, I mean, the the funny thing is, is that the game was developed all the way back in 1971, mm -hmm. but it yes. didn't up in schools until um, uh, it in was 80s. made available for the Apple IIe computer in yeah. the 1980s. All right, and then yeah. at that point, it was like, Jesus Christ! It, <laughs> anybody, anybody around our age would, yeah, the first thing they will mention uh, about Oregon Trail is you have died of dysentery. <laughs> Either that or your wagon wheel breaking, which your is more fun. wagon wheel breaking. That. Yeah. You All right. Bit by snakes, it's like fuck, dude. <laughs> or, no, yeah, that's crazy game. Yeah. All right, let's go on. Um, number eight. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Super Mario Brothers. If anyone's gonna argue about this game being on any fucking gaming list. You, you have a screw loose or you have no history about gaming. This is the game that basically quote unquote single handedly brought back gaming and, and just totally, totally, just totally fucking handed us the side scrolling genre. Period. Uh, you see my poster up there? <laughs> what? That's all I gotta say. 
Yeah. Yeah. What, what Ghostbusters? No, the one behind. Us. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Yep. Revolutionary. Yeah. NES. Revolutionary. Speaking yeah. of revolutionary. Yep. Yeah. Number seven. Legend of Zelda. Oh boy. There's only two flaws with this game. What? The it is? Music. Um, turn, turning it off, you have to hold the reset button. Yeah. <laughs> and also the dungeon music. <laughs> and the dungeon music. You knew where I was going. That music yeah. was annoying. Well, see, this is one of the games that, that actually uh, revolutionized open world. That was open world in back in the even knew Before it was a genre. Absolutely. Before we even knew what it was. Yeah. 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 Yep. And it was, that's impressive to have that on the NES because that was a big fucking game for 8-bit. Yep, yep. I mean, I, even now, the thing is that if, if there are people who could sit there and speed run it, you know, in, in oh, very yeah. times. But are there some now, people that can play that, they can get to Ganon with, just with no sword? With the, how the fuck do you do that? How the fuck do you, you can't, do that? Well, that, the only problem with that is you can't kill Ganon. You have to have your Master Sword. I know. <laughs> but you can get to oh, the Magic Sword. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but, but uh, that that definitely is that holds that's very dear to my heart. Yeah. Um, yep. All right. Let's see here. Uh, moving on. Number uh, six, Minecraft. See, okay. with this game, I didn't I didn't get into it at all. Well, the 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 thing about this game is that I I think the greatest thing about uh, Minecraft is that if you could sit there and take the creative possibility of Legos and give it hand it over to um, obsessive compulsive gamers, okay, who like to go ahead and just immerse themselves in doing things over and over again. Yep. That's, that's pretty much what Minecraft is. All right. Um, that's, that's all you have to say about it. Because the thing is, not everybody is going to get the, the lower Legos, but anybody who, who has ever played with Legos for a long time, they all know about getting stuck on that one project. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Minecraft is like that, but the project never ends. Okay. Moving on. Top five. Number five. Ms. Pac-Man. Okay. <laughs> hey, look. Hours upon hours upon hours. No matter which one I played, even the Atari Ms. Pac-Man, but the arcade one, as soon as motherfuckers put the speed on her, <laughs> it was over. Yeah, That's yeah. It was like, oh, yes, this was the one that everybody had to search for and fucking play. I used to watch my sister play this game and just yeah. had the patterns down, just play the game, just get all the way, like, the three, four, five junior levels. And I'm just like, man, it, yeah. yeah. What was good about uh, Miss Pac-Man is that the boards changed. Unfortunately, Pac-Man, it was that yeah. same board. Boards, over over again. Bouncing yep. fruit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because they actually gave it, you know, proper development time, uh, and it showed between Ms. Pac-Man and, and and the original Pac-Man on, on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. It even had a, a storyline. Yep, exactly. You know, Quote, unquote, yeah. Actually, it's one of the first arcade games that actually had cutscenes. Cutscene, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> you think yeah, about that's it. the that's the story. Yep. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Uh, number four, Doom. Yes. I have sat on PC for a long time on this game, man. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that, that belongs on this list. It definitely belongs on this list. Yeah. And this game was one of the games that got criticized as being violent. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only that, but but making kids violent, okay? Yeah. 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 Which, again, that's that's another – yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, that's something else for another time. Okay, so number three, top three. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I remember the theme was there when I was beating this game. And when the you first, battle... When you first got the... Uh, when, when you passed and, Ganon, and then you got the Ganon. And the battle music was insane. And also, the Ocarina of Time is the linchpin in the Zelda um, storyline to where it splits to where Ganon actually kills Link or Ganon actually, or Link actually kills Ganon. And that's what, that's branches the storyline. Anyway, 
that it belongs on this list because of that. This was revolutionary. It really was. Well, I would have to say, just like just like I said about all Nintendo si- systems, you know, Mario usually is the the, the tech demo, and then um, Legend of Zelda is usually what they show. Okay, this is what you do exactly with this system if if you if you concentrate on it, and it helps. They've got creative geniuses working on it. Okay, absolutely. I'll save the legendary spot for for number two, which was Super Mario sixty four. Sixty four. Yeah. Yeah. You talk about a game that totally revolutionized 3D or said that, look, this is the way 3D should be done. Yeah. You're going to fucking do it. Camera work, everything. Yep. Camera work, and you're being able to, it was just, there was. The camera work, the control worked, everything worked. It was perfect. And I I think the Reverend said it earlier was that, like, this was the tech demo of the 64, so to speak. It just, it, look, revolutionized the 3D world, but not a traditional 2D um, character or two point five three and a half minutes to drown. Well, not not only that, but I think actually what a lot of people, you know, when people sit there and they talk about Mario 64 as being revolutionary, they always talk about it being the transition from 2D to 3D. The one thing that they that they leave out, okay, and this is the reason this is the reason why uh, um, Nintendo fucking geniuses. And another another reason why we say, you know, all of the the gaming, you know, the majority of the gaming actual innovations that have come to the industry have been introduced by Nintendo, but it introduced analog control and what that meant to fucking console yes, games. Yes, it did. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. You sit there, you top off 3D, okay, uh, 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 a more intuitive camera, all right, um, with pitch perfect analog control yep. and behind a very with the creative minds of Nintendo behind it and yeah you look the Nintendo 64 is not my favorite system okay um, but guess what I, I know why people wanted one especially when it first came out okay and that well, was people crazy. wanted it because they thought Killer Instinct was going to be on it well the Ultra 64 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or uh, amongst other things. But really, the, the reason why a lot of people went ahead and picked it up, even if they had to spend an exorbitant amount, was Mario 64. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and move on to number one. And the number one greatest of all time game, according to Time Magazine, to time. August 23rd, 2016, is Tetris. <laughs> puzzle, game. puzzle games. Puzzle games. Puzzle games. Puzzle games. And puzzle games. You had this puzzle game that basically, I mean, come on, it it went just about everywhere. Everywhere. One thing, too, is I believe that Tetris was one of the reasons why so successful. The Game Boy? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Here's That's what I said, the Game Boy. That was yeah. one of the reasons why the Game Boy who did not have Tetris on their Game Boy. Well, it came with the Game Boy, so that was an excuse for that. But it was so great that people just constantly played it. The versus mode on there was something else. It, it yes. was like, yeah, game. and it was, and everybody played it. Not just the kids. My brothers played it. I played it. We tried to to get the highest score, but oh no, actually, God. right there, actually, that is the greatest, the greatest thing that a lot of people don't recognize about Tetris. They're like, oh, it's just a puzzle game. No, look, here's it. there's a few things that, that you got to sit there and you got to um, got to appreciate here. And take a minute just to break it down. Number one, you have a concept that anybody can fucking understand. Anyone can understand it, yes. Okay. Uh, you have a concept that anybody can understand and anybody can go ahead and grasp hold of. Not only that, but then it was packaged in a way that it was like, guess what? Anybody can fucking pick up and play this. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. In fact, the best Tetris players that I know they're all female. Yeah. I, I, I'm not kidding. Okay. I think I've had... except for except for one. All right, but then again, he's also he's also a, he's he's also a, a programmer at my work, so he's he thinks in a different in a very different zone. All right. But I yeah. uh, I yeah. saw I saw one of my classmates. Get Tetris after Tetris after Tetris. I mean, he stacked the block so perfectly 
that when that one long block comes in, Tetris, and then that, and another one comes out. And I was like, how the hell are you? I remember when I was playing Ch- Tetris 4D for the Dreamcast, and um, one of our Navy comrades fell asleep. And then he woke up and he still and he saw me playing and I was still playing the same game. He saw that I had five hundred plus lines and he's like, "You were still playing the same fucking game." And I'm like, "Yep, I was in the zone, just focused on Tetris. Love fucking Tetris. Love puzzle games in general, but love fucking Tetris." Yeah. And what's so unique about the the way this list um, is is that one, it wasn't by gamers. Two, there was no money under the table, like. Published, you know, it wasn't I don't published. Think that certain games are missing. There are certain or games are missing. that certain games should be re- certain games should be replaced with others, like <laughs> Rise of the Tomb Raider, for example. That's just my opinion. What would you replace it with, team? Okay, look, one game that comes up is it's a fucking Metroid of some sort, like Super Metroid or even the first one. Then, <laughs> then this hurts my heart. There are no Street Fighter games on this list. That was that was and and on top of that, there was no uh, beat 'em ups either. I was just about to say the same thing. Turtles and Time didn't make this list. Now I can understand that this is not by gamers or whatever, but there are certain games that are in here, like Halo or anything like that. That okay, they they I understand that they earned their place on any list, but at the same time, I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. You had a couple of games that revolutionized genres yeah. that are not here, so. That's why I was like, um, um, I, I, ooh, I was surprised that no Madden made this list. Not the old ones. There was no basketball game on this list. <laughs> that was crazy, too. Um, yeah. Or what about Blades of Steel? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Sports games were really, really left out of the no, list. No, the only sports game on there was that. Was 2K5. Yeah. 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 And that was, crazy. Crazy. that was an ESPN game. So, yep. fuck, I really – Wow. Um, look, I can understand that certain games weren't going to be here and it's a top 50 and many people are going to bitch about the list as yeah. far as saying, I can't believe that. No, no, no. I can understand just about each and every game being on this list and some of them where they're at, they're actually perfect. But that was my only gripe because I was like, wait, 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 wait. I didn't see any Metroid on here? That well, really confused me. And then to have Mortal Kombat on, even though I can understand it um, makes its place in history, but no Street Fighter on this list, that kind of hurt my heart, especially Third Strike not being there. Yeah, I mean, my, my only thing about, like, uh, that one I think is kind of unforgivable. But, again, framing it, it's a game. It's, it's a list that's there that's not by, by gamers. The other thing about Metroid not being in there, the top ten is very Nintendo heavy. It is. Yeah. I but think, they had two Marios and two yeah. Zeldas in the top ten. So, I mean, it's very Nintendo heavy. So, but, you know, that's something that we'll probably talk about uh, later. We got to wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. I think we did pretty good. 50 and under 40 minutes. So, uh, I will say this. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end, folks. If you're so kind, hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Leave us a comment below. We like those. All right. Once again, we're the three middle-aged dudes. We're just cold kind of bullshit here. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. Great Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of Common Sense Logic Gaming. Best 50 games from time. Good list. Good list. Credits.